Headroom is how much room your audio signal has before it starts to get compressed and distorted. Every recording medium has a finite amount of headroom. If you try to record a signal that's louder than what the medium is capable of handling, it will clip the tops of the waveform, and you'll hear that as distortion. Good headroom in recording means that your levels are in the sweet spot range for the recording medium. That sweet spot is the perfect balance between a system's noise floor and clipping point. Today's digital recording software has an extremely low noise floor, but headroom still matters. You need good headroom for your mixes to sound the best they can. Your DAW has an impressive dynamic range, but you still have to convert your signal to analog to hear it. Bad headroom affects the way your ADDA converters handle what comes in and out. Record too low and you're fighting the noise floor. Record too high and you push things into distortion and clipping. The key to getting the right headroom is gain staging. A good rule of thumb is to equate negative 18 dBFS with the analog standard of 0 dBVU. If you keep your peaks hitting not much above negative 10 dBFS and keep the average level around negative 18 dBFS, you should have a signal that's right in the sweet spot. Just keep in mind that more dynamic instruments like drums or percussion might need more space as their signals can have very large peaks. For this tutorial, I'll be tracking DI electric guitar. To get a precise overview of our levels, I'll start by adding a meter plug into the track. Right away, I can see that my interface's input is set too high. The guitarist's loudest notes are peaking at negative 3 dBFS, not quite in the sweet spot. Before I record the part again, I'll decrease the gain of the preamp until the signal falls into the range I want. Now the loudest notes are just touching negative 10 dBFS and the body of the signal is hovering around negative 18. That will give me great headroom for track. The need for proper gain staging doesn't end when your tracks are recorded. As you process your audio with plugins during the mix, you'll be affecting their levels. Compressor makeup gain, EQ boosts and cuts, and other mixing processes are level-based operations. This means that they're subject to proper gain staging as well. Maintaining the same practices of good gain staging that you use during recording is your best bet, so negative 18 dBFS is a good average level to aim for. Now that we've recorded our guitar track with good headroom, we'll add some compression. As I was adjusting the settings, I added makeup gain to account for the compressor's gain reduction. To double check that I've maintained the right headroom, I'll add another instance of my meter plugin directly after the compressor. By comparing the two meters, we can see that I've gone a little overboard with the makeup gain. I'll decrease the compressor's output slightly to get back to the sweet spot. Good headroom is important for your sound. It's also a great way to start thinking about your dynamics before mixing even starts. Use these tips to get headroom right on everything you record.